Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Gilman, I'm a board certified OBGYN at Olmstead Medical Center. We are getting a tremendous amount of question, questions from patients about the COVID vaccine and pregnancy, which is very reasonable. We understand that in your situation, you're concerned about your health and the health of your unborn child. We realize that the vaccine has been developed very quickly as it had to be and that people are concerned about that. We also realize and we can validate that it's true that pregnant women were not involved in the vaccine trials. Unfortunately, a lot of things that we do for you in pregnancy have not necessarily been validated by clinical trials, which is to say we don't do research on pregnant women. However, many of those things have been used for a long time, medications being an example, and we have never seen fetal harm. In this particular situation, the COVID vaccines that are on the market now and the new ones that may be coming out work in a very specific way. We know that people are concerned about what's in the vaccine. We do know what's in the vaccine. And in fact, it's a pretty neat thing. The way that the current vaccines work is they come in and they use your own body's system to make antibodies to the COVID virus. To be very specific, a vaccine works by doing something to make your body build fighters called antibodies to a disease and that way if the disease comes into you, you already have the fighters to work against it. A lot of vaccines in the past did this by just using a little bit of the virus, often either without the inside of the virus, if you will, or a little bit of the virus that was inactivated so it couldn't make you sick, but giving a little of the outside covering of that so that would go into your body, your body would see that and it would make a fighter against it. So that in the future, if you got sick, you already had those fighters called antibodies to ward off the disease. In the case of the COVID vaccines, those vaccines work by coming into your body and telling it what to make, how to make the antibody, and then your body's own system makes the antibody. It's pretty cool. We have to tell you that we don't see any way that that could cause harm to your baby. And in fact, look at it this way. If you're pregnant, you have an interest, obviously, in not being sick. If someone said to you, I can give you a medicine that'll prevent you from getting sick or going to the hospital, that's certainly in your best interest. You need to protect yourself and your baby. And in fact, that's what the COVID vaccine does. The COVID vaccine was studied specifically to to show that people didn't get sick or were hospitalized for the COVID virus. And in fact, in most of these trials, not one person who got the vaccine ended up sick or in the hospital from COVID. It's a very powerful thing to protect you and your baby. As of the time of this recording, most of the people getting the vaccine that are reproductive age, our pregnant patients who are asking about this now, are probably in the line of fire. In other words, you're a healthcare provider, a teacher, someone who has a higher risk. And certainly, it's in your interest to be protected from something that can harm you or your baby. And if in fact, there can be some real benefit to baby. The very newest studies, probably even of this week, are telling us that it's possible that the antibody from people who have the virus or have had the virus already goes into the baby through the placenta. And it may be, although we're not completely sure yet, that getting the vaccine and your body developing those antibodies could also protect baby. We don't know yet, but it's coming. Further, for people who may be getting the vaccine down the road from this recording, we will have data by the time you get the vaccine. And this is because for the people who are enrolling in the CDC's program, which is called V-Safe, those people are being asked if they're pregnant, which means that as people who are pregnant get the vaccine, there will be data. There will be more information as time goes on about any untoward effects. You have an interest in protecting yourself and your baby, and we do too. And we really do know the current information. Please ask us as an alternative. Please don't Google please go to a reliable website. I'll give you two very simple places to look. Anything that says CDC or anything that says ACOG, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology. 
Those are powerful resources, and one of the best things about going to the internet for those two, looking at those two websites, is they're updated. You can get real-time information as things are changing every day, and it may help you feel, feel more comfortable, but please talk to us. We're more than happy to lay out the information, and you can then make an informed decision about what you think is best for you. Another reliable resource is to go to Olmsted's main page, which is olmstedmedicalcenter.org. That will have a COVID area, and you can always get reliable and updated information on the vaccine from that resource as well.